I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today I am showing you how to take an old candle and turn it into this. This was once a beautiful candle that I got on clearance at Home Goods. It was $8 but there's so much wax left, so I can definitely make maybe three or four candles out of this. I'm gonna show you how to melt this old wax and transfer it into a glass container. The only other thing you'll need to make this is a wick. I am using wooden wicks. I got these at Michael's. They were like six bucks. I used a 60% off coupon. You do the math, it's a cheap craft. Yeah! If you have a big hand poured candle like I do, you're gonna need a really sharp knife to cut it up into a bunch of little pieces. Or if you have say, three or four different Bath & Body Works candles that have leftover wax in there. I'm gonna show you how to get that wax out too. Let's start with this one first. I need to chop it up. Okay. I'm estimating that this is gonna make a lot of candles, so I have a lot of glass jars. This is not easy. Yes. Got them. The tinier pieces you cut, the better. Now we gotta go to the kitchen. To get the wax out of small candles or Bath & Body Works ones, you'll wanna boil a pot of water on medium heat and carefully hover your candle jar over the top of the water and you'll see the wax at the bottom start to loosen up and it will just sort of pop out. Now we need to double boil. You're going to add a glass bowl on top of the boiling water pot and this is how you're gonna melt your wax. While that's starting to melt, now I'm gonna add my wick. There are many different types of wicks out there, so make sure to do your research before you choose. They're gonna come with clips, which help the wick stand straight in the candle. You can see this little opening here, and you wanna push the wooden wick in very gently because they break very easily. You're going to use some melted hot wax to get the wick to adhere to the bottom, but you have to work very quickly because the wax will dry in seconds. Don't worry if it takes a couple of tries, you can just rub the wax off the bottom and keep trying till you get a good and stable stick. Once your wax is all melted, you want to wait for it to cool down a little before you pour it into your jar or else it could cause sinkholes. I recommend pouring in two sections. My jar was big so I had to pour four separate times. I'm letting the wax sit and start to harden before I pour more. To prevent sinkholes, you want to wait for your wax to cool before you pour at all. You also want to be careful not to hit your wick when you pour your wax. These wicks stay up nicely, but I recommend keeping the wick up straight with two skewers or something of that sort while it dries. So you want to let your candles settle for 24 hours, but what happens when you go to check on them and you see a sinkhole even though you tried to prevent it? I'm taking my heat gun and I'm simply heating up the upper perimeter of the candle in circular motions. The wax is melting and filling up the hole. You just keep heating until it's leveled and then leave it there to settle until the next day. Now your candle has a nice, smooth, even finish. The box your wicks came in will tell you how short to trim it. And just like that, my one big clearance amazing $8 buy has brought to life four new candles. And you bet your bottom dollar when these are burnt, I'm gonna do it all over again. Reduce, reuse. Upcycle. Now, before you do this yourself, if you're using wax from an old candle, make sure you look at the bottom, read the tag. What kind of wax is it? Go online. Da, 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 da. What's the best wick for soy wax? What's the best wick for paraffin wax? Do your homework so you don't waste your time or your money. If I inspired you to upcycle and make new candles of your own, please tag me at madcrafty on Instagram or email me at info at madcrafty.com so I can see what you made. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more crafts. See you next time. Awesome.